Hey there. So I wanted to come on just with a little, I would say inspirational moment, but I, I would say like a aha-ish moment. And um, yeah, just to share just a little bit. So I'm excited because I just got some really, really great news and I'll share it at some point. But I am pretty excited. But anyway, um, have you ever just like been totally struggling with what you're supposed to do in this life you know what I mean like what is your purpose like I I don't know I I have I have just been on a journey where I just can't piece this thing together and I just felt that you know along the way I have accumulated not boasting but quite a few skills in many of the jobs that I've worked and um you know things and opportunities that I have been blessed with I've just acquired skills things that I never expected to do or that I knew nothing about but was taught and trained by mentors etc so having all these you know skills like what do you do with all of that like what on earth how can you use all these various skill sets from so many different spectrums of industries for one thing and to make it profitable and also for a good service to humanity that has been my quest that has been my issue that has been my struggle that has been like my one prayer to God like what am I supposed to do with all of this stuff and I'm sure that many times life you know when life happens and you think uh, okay well let's just say you know I'm out of a job like my, my main corporate job and I may have to work at somewhere else that and, and nothing wrong with those places but let's just use for an example I'm just have to gonna get a job at subway to supplement my income for now right and then you're thinking okay well it's just it's just a it's just a fill-in for now until I can get to my big job that I'm trained for or that I went to school for but we negate to realize that anything you do no matter what it is um, there, whatever you learn is is part of the overall picture of for the next step in preparation whether it is at subway you learn discipline and time management and you know reporting and all of that you just don't know so this is what happened to me on thursday thursday I had a little coming to jesus moment where again i was just like how am i gonna work all this stuff together i mean i've worked i've worked everywhere everywhere every ev trust me everywhere and you know, some, what I started doing with life was, like, for instance, one phase of life, I will just focus on media, or I would focus on photography, or I'll focus on, on um, graphics, or I'll focus on speaking, or I'll focus on whatever. And I never just pulled it all together because I just felt sometimes it was too much, and that's not what I was asked to do. However, the Lord was like, girl, why aren't you using all the gifts I gave you? And I was like, Jesus? supposed to put all of this stuff together I mean I've gone from scrubbing floors and bathrooms to working administrative jobs and in the cafeteria how am I supposed to work all that stuff together tell me tell me how 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 this is what he said as, as a matter of fact he used something that I had bought about a month ago which I think like he was like this girl don't even know she's she's attracted to this but this is really the answer to her prayer so I, I bought these at the dollar store, Dollar General down the street. I bought these two puzzles, uh, a 500 and a 750, because I was preparing for surgery and I figured, you know, killing time, I'm not gonna be doing anything for like six weeks. So let me get some puzzles to do because I love puzzles. They calm me down, they do. And I just, I love putting things together and I'm pretty good at it, I am. Except the ones where it's all fall trees. I digress. So anyway, I got this one, which was a, a little porch. You know, can you see? Yep, I got this one. And then I got this one because I love that it had all these um, words and all of that and smile. And, you know, I was just be like, thank you, hello. So I had, I, they've been parked. <clears throat> underneath on the shelf since I bought them in the beginning of December and every time I pass them I'm like oh, that means I have to clean the table and I ain't got time for that so in this 
struggle or this frustration point I you know I, I came into the living room and I looked at the puzzle and it was like the Holy Spirit was like little girl your answer has been sitting right there so this is what I this is what he said which was an aha moment for me and if you already know it then good celebrate with me because I finally caught up with you you know life to me this is this is what I saw my life my life is literally like a puzzle just like just like all of these gifts and talents that I have there's just pieces all over the place I'm trying to open it I should have done that before I did this video but okay but you know my life is like my life is like a puzzle and and because life happened try this again you can be broken up and shattered into a gazillion pieces because that's what life does you know especially when you have some hard times um, it can just leave you trying to figure out who the heck you are and then there are times when even with those hard times when you have to do things that are not in your projected path for instance, you may have to take a job that is not within your uh, level of education and then you're feeling like, what the heck am I doing here? But you know, life gives us all of these, these pieces. I'm trying to open it quick, so. <laughs> Toya. That's me. You know, and, and I looked at it. This, this is what I had been doing wrong. I had been looking at the inside of the puzzle and getting frustrated because there's so many pieces in there and especially those puzzles why are you not trying to work with me I got I got your other one it's not trying to work with me I'm, I'm trying to be smooth and make this make this a, a good-looking video come on oh my gosh Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not editing this out because the, I, this goes to my point. You know, everything is not going to work out the way you want it to. Uh, one side came off just fine. And I think they used like some crazy glue on this other side. So anyway, I got it open. So this is life, right? Don't always work out the way you're supposed to. And sometimes you need help, like I did. But I was seeing myself, right? My whole life, like this, this puzzle. But what I had, oh my gosh, there's like more tape on the other side. You know, unexpected things. Like I wasn't planning for this to be so hard. All right, this one came out good. You know, this is a good, this is turned out to be a really good illustration about my point. All right, here we go. Oh. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I had to use this. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had to use this as a knife. Okay, boom. So, life is like this puzzle box. You know, you got all these pieces in here. Pieces. And this is how I felt. This is how I felt like my life was now. Like, okay, I'm... I'm 43 years old and all of my experiences when I look at it it to me felt like this I, I was so confused I just this is frustrating you know and I, I kept trying to piece this thing together just just with the pieces you know trying to figure out okay what goes here and you know sometimes it's so confusing because when the pieces look the same you just don't know where it goes especially as I tell you those trees those trees and and streets in puzzles would just drive you bonkers and flowers too especially why do you have to have all roses in one pile sorry so I see this is what I was doing I was trying to figure out how to put all of my pieces together to make this thing called life work and to be a service to humanity and what I when I re looked at the box and it's like the Lord was like okay now you got it I have been looking at the pieces just spread out and really nice turned up and just trying to piece it together and I had negated what made me such a good puzzle put together assembler Whatever the word is, Sierra. Okay. This is what the Lord said to me. You don't need to look at your pieces. That is not how you solve a puzzle. How you solve a puzzle is by looking at the example 
that has been set for you. The picture on the box tells you what the end result is going to be. And sometimes we do this, you know, we know the picture on the box is there, but then we just depend on the colors and looking at things on our own. But the Lord was like, this, I am your example. I am the, your, you came from my mind and my thoughts. I designed you and I wove you together. And in my mind, this is what you are supposed to look like when all things work together. So instead of looking at your life and trying to put yourself together and your pieces together, you have to keep your focus on me. So I can keep reminding you of what you are supposed to look like in my mind. Because if you look at how you look like in your mind, you're going to look disheveled and broken and in pieces. And that is not the end result. And sometimes we stop here. And we just accept that, you know, I'm just a broken person. I'm just, I'm just broken and I'm in shambles and I, I, there's no purpose for me. But this is just, this, this ain't, this ain't nothing. This is not the big deal. The big deal, the big deal is this. What attracted me to this box was how pretty this was. And I was like, look, this would be very nice to put together. But like I said, what I realize about me when I do puzzles is if I keep this box in front of me, right, while I'm doing my puzzles, <laughs> while I'm doing my puzzles, and I keep going back and referencing where I am and what needs to be put together, I have a better, my mind is better at grasping what the next piece would be. And what I realize sometimes is that if, if I get too confused over here, like in, in so much green, it's okay for me to then move over to another side and give my mind a break from that. And sometimes when you shift over and concentrate on the thing that you can do, somehow you, you figure out the pieces. Because I've done it before with even partners where we're working on one side, on separate sides and I'll shift over to work on the side that they're working on and somehow while we're working on this together we find the pieces over here I think it's the same way with God stop focusing on this and trying to put some stuff together or pieces together that you think need to be working together sometimes he wants us to shift to something else and in that then we realize how all things work together all of things work together so um, yeah so yeah that was exciting so again that was that was something I learned last week and I was pretty excited about it and I still didn't open the box as you can see I opened it with you but yeah so now I just I use I use everything everything's gonna work together everything so don't negate even the dark parts of your life don't negate the confusing parts don't negate the parts that just don't make sense don't negate the dirt don't negate the flowers don't negate the sun they all are gonna work together because they're all your whole life comes from a beautiful brilliant mind of God and he thought about it first so that's why you have to go back to him each time and ask him remind me again remind me again what I'm what 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 you want from me and, and his word says it, you're fearfully and, and wonderfully made, you're beautiful, like he wove you together. His hands is what put you together and he has good plans for you and all those giftings that he's, all these gifts, giftings that he's given to you are for a greater pure purpose, for a beautiful, beautiful picture that people will love and will serve. And that's it. That is, that is the message, that is the word from the Lord today. That is what has made me happy, and that is what I'm giving to you. So, don't be frustrated with yourself that things aren't working out. Go back to him and ask him and say, look, how, how am I supposed to use, use all this stuff together? And he will do that. All right? So, see y'all.